Hey everybody, Mike here. So I wanted to kind of give you my opinion of, the, of this Apple second generation pencil that I've owned for almost a year now. So this is something that was always kind of on my wish list, but I never really pulled the trigger until just about a year ago. Now I believe the second generation came out around the 2018 time frame. It was designed to take the place of the first generation, which while I thought was a valiant effort, to me it fell short in terms of features and it's kind of inconvenient on how you had to charge that thing. When they introduced the second generation pencil, one of the biggest things and what kind of changed my mind about it was the fact that with the new iPads at that time, they added the magnetic strip up here and you're able to take that Apple Pencil, essentially put that on the side of your iPad and it'll charge the pencil without having to use a cable to charge that. Now you can put this iPad in a book bag or on a shelf with the pencil attached and it's pretty much fully charged every time you go to grab it. And then not to mention, if you add any kind of case to your iPad, a lot of them have a spot for your pencil to sit and rest. Just as to the iPad's ability to be able to hold on that pencil without it falling off. I was actually really surprised about how strong this magnet was when I first got it. It's really hard to get that thing to kind of knock loose and fall off, so I'm not too worried about ever losing my pencil. There's a million different ways that this pencil could be useful to you. For me, I'm no artist, but I do take a lot of notes and I go through and I edit rough drafts and things of that nature for my business when I'm doing blog posts or newsletters uh, that I'm getting ready to send out. Not to mention, it's really easy to go into like a photo and editing app and you can edit and circle different various things on photos as well. And that's kind of what I use it for. The options are limitless. I'm only really tapping into probably a small percentage of the potential of what this pencil is actually capable of doing. So right here, I've got my notes app opened up. What most commonly I'm using this pencil for is if I'm sitting in on a meeting or if I'm on a Zoom conference or something of that nature, I've usually got this here in place of like a regular pen and paper these days. It's just one less thing I got to worry about carrying with me from time to time. But I'll hop in here on my notes and there's several different ways you can do this. You can tap this first pencil here on the left and as you write, it'll take your handwriting and put it into text font so it makes it easier to read. So you can kind of just run in here and you can just start writing whatever it is that might be going through. And as you can see, it takes your words and it types it in there for you. Now the other way you can do this is by taking one of these two pens here and you can just simply write, it'll keep your handwriting on the screen. So if you're just doing a quick note or whatever, if you're not too worried about your handwriting not being legible, you can just go ahead and basically write a note on your screen like so and you're good to go. Now another thing you can do too, over here next to your eraser, you've got another pen. You can basically run that like a cursor around a circle and then you could go through and change colors. So if you wanted to do something of that nature on your screen, you're, you're able to do that as well. And something else I commonly find myself doing is grabbing this off the top of my iPad when I sit down. I'll use this just as a basic stylus. So instead of using my finger, for some reason, tapping on my screen, especially because I've got the screen protector on my iPad, it doesn't always register my finger first try. I find myself getting frustrated after the third or fourth time I've tried to press on something and it doesn't register the command I've tried to give it. For some reason, when I go to grab the pencil and I use that, I find that I have a lot less of that problem. So I've just kind of gotten in the habit of having this in my hand when I'm sitting there browsing or scrolling through internet, whatever task it is I might be doing that day. Now they do also have a third generation pencil out as well that just recently came out and the reason I didn't go with that pencil was because it, while it did have the USB-C to be able to charge it so it's one more way to charge what I didn't like was you lost that pressure sensitivity in the tip so when you come on your screen if you were to select the marker you can barely press or you can really kind of press kind of hard and it gives you by whatever pressure it is you have on your pencil is what it shows up on the screen so you can kind of see just by me messing with the pencil like so you can get different effects from the marker which comes in really handy. So if you're using an app like Procreate and you're a really good artist, that's really going to be handy for you, probably more so than that newest generation Apple Pencil that they've got out. That's really all I use this pencil for. It's To me, it's just a nice extra tool to have on me, especially for the price. This is something I probably could have done without. It is a really nice addition to have on me, especially for the price. It didn't break the bank. I feel like it's a pretty reasonable price for what you get. It's something that can just live on my iPad like so and it's just there when I need it. I don't have to worry about keeping track of it as well. Hopefully that gives you just a little bit of insight on the basics of what the Apple Pencil is used for. Like I said, I'm only using this thing for a small percentage of what it's actually capable of doing. But if you're just like me and you're kind of just taking notes, if you're looking for a way to get away from the old school pen and paper, you might check out this Apple Pencil if you have an iPad around handy. This might be the way for you to go in the future. That's all I've got for you today, guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.